Okay, so let's get into this tea. Now, Honey Sauce just went to take Mango to use the bathroom. Y'all wondering why I'm not waiting? My father's just coming here at 5 o'clock. So what do you want me to do? Huh? Y'all want every explanation, escalation, and want to know all my business. I understand because I'm in everyone else's business. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is she took him outside. I got the finish. I got, I, we got stuff to do. All right. So catch on the next video. Literally, she'll be in the house in five minutes. All right. So we about to get into K Suave. Okay. That ain't him at all. But this is yesterday after his live, because he was kicking it with Krishan. Uh, he said, plot twist, it was never serious. Now, what does that mean, K Suave? Let me tell you something. <laughs> K Suave, don't come over here starting stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, he very well could be talking about anybody else. He very well could be talking about a situation. He very well could be speaking about anything. But remember when Krishan uh, left, he used that same emoji. This little house, this little house thing right here. This little house thing. So, okay, okay, so wait, let me tell you something. You better keep it cute. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? All right? <clears throat> oh, I know y'all finna be in the comments like, she shouldn't have took it so serious anyway. They knew, they newly talking and blah, blah, blah. You ain't lying. I ain't mad at you for it. But that don't mean he, he ain't, he don't need to keep it cute like I said. See, that's what not bias is, okay? I completely understand where y'all coming from because Krishan shouldn't have never took this serious from the beginning. But however, she's saying that they taking it slow. They just be cool and then they ain't going steady. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, you know, it's cool. Also, shouldn't have never got him tatted. But however, he might not be talking about her at all. Plot twist. He might be talking about somebody else. Krishana got on here and spoke about Blueface maybe six, 17 times <laughs> since they've been, you know what I'm saying, cooling it. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below. Now let's get into Blueface's tweets. Yesterday he said, and I quote, I empower women. That's what he said. I empower women. I respect women. And I love women. Now, we all know that's Cap. <laughs> Not because I think he's gay. Just because we know he doesn't love women. You know, women, men that love women, they don't beat them and, you know what I'm saying, uh, gaslight them and narcissistic them. I know that's not a thing. I say what I want. Uh, we all know that. That's Cap. But anyway, he follows up with, I know that's going to make y'all mad. So Bluefist wanted some attention yesterday because he wasn't getting any. Um, this is why I forever react to these videos and make content out of these things because they want our attention. Understand, get it, okay? We're going to always talk about it because they're going to always want attention. I am with it. I want to know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below. Bluefist, um... He don't have respect for women, man. A man that don't respect his mama don't have respect for no woman, though. You know what I'm saying? So y'all don't ever get it. Don't ever get it twisted. If he don't respect Carlissa, what makes y'all think he would ever respect any other women? So yeah, let's just uh, let's just get that together. <clears throat> All right. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Javon. Javon went full crip mode at his little singance at his school. Okay. Straight crip mode. Javon didn't know none of the words, y'all. Sing the dang song, son. <laughs> so, Blueface, when did Javon have time to practice the song? You, Krishad, and Jaden was just into it last week. I'm sure that he had to know what the song was last week and practice it to this week. When did he have time to practice that song, Blueface? I ain't gonna lie, he was at the game wiping your tears. That probably made him forget. <laughs> he felt like his daddy's in distress. He felt like his mommy's in distress. His brother mama's in distress. And you think Javon about to learn the words. <clears throat> Not only that, Javon is definitely a crip already. I just want y'all to know that. Javon is gangster, okay? He be ready to steal off on... He stole off on Blue. Y'all remember? <clears throat> Javon ain't trying to learn no damn Christmas carol. 
Oh, school carols or whatever. Maybe he would have known if Blue wasn't there. <laughs> he staring at Blueface. <laughs> First of all, lady, you had one job, and that was to get the hell out of my frame. Okay, now that's definitely a copyright. So, y'all, this is Jaden. She laughed in the background. Of course, for him to have Journey, Jaden got to be there. Okay. <clears throat> Why you didn't sing none of the words? This is Javon's response. That was not a good performance. I know. You have that? She's performing like your mama out there. You don't know the words? <clears throat> <laughs> not acting like his mama out there because he don't know the words. <laughs> Now, that was just shady. He's so shady. Y'all know Jaden don't know them words. Because last time she checked up her check checkup, last time, damn, I forgot that with the words that she was messing up. Because now she got it right. Last time I checked up my checkup. Check check but she was saying, last time I checked up my checkup. You remember we was watching it that night. What'd she say? Wake up. Make up. Last, last time, time I, I checked check up, up my checkup. Check up. See now we know the word, y'all. That whole night we was—I <laughs> ain't gonna lie—we was watching it. We was bored. It wasn't nothing on the television. On the television, say. Oh, you know what? Let me talk about this. Hating ass man. This okay. guy right here is upset at the fact that normally I think he uh, helps Nicki Minaj release her, um. Her albums or whatever. Uh-huh. Project. Projects. And in this season of it, he didn't. And he calls this hip-hop journalism. Tough titty. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, 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 no. I wasn't supposed to put on that. Hip-hop journalism, he calls it. But I guess this is just regular journalism. So this is hip-hop journalism. I want y'all to know something. Costanette is winning. Absolutely. It's nothing you can do to stop this. Let me tell y'all who, who is on Kasanat side. God! Okay? Nothing but death can keep him from this. Nicki Minaj? Come on, bro. Now, if Kasanat get Beyonce on his stream, baby, <laughs> I'm going to lose my shit. We're going to have to be front row on that, and Beyonce absolutely would be late. Okay. But if Beyonce were to get on Kasanat's stream, that would just be crazy. But truthfully, Nicki Minaj came for Kasanat's mother. Okay, she said that a lot, and she, I think she meant it. Um, but basically, he mad. Uh, hip hop journalist Elliot Wilson, w uh, with a tweet, he has previously interviewed Nicki twice for her album releases. Yeah, so I think he mad. He didn't get to. Oh uh, wow. Armand Wicked said, uh, "What's wrong with their? What's wrong with their older cats?" And this gatekeeper syndrome. Times have changed and artists need to evolve with the time. Nikki has literally hit all markets with her press run. I don't see the problem. Me either. Absolutely. I think this was a good choice for uh, Nikki Minaj. Absolutely. <clears throat> and she looked like she had fun. She had a, a ball. Okay. She was late as hell. Four late hours as hell to be exact. Because Four I was asleep. <laughs> Nikki, I was waiting, you know. I'm, you know. We're gonna react to him today. But Nikki was a total of four hours late. <clears throat> However, she came. She saw she conquered. A lot of y'all said she wasn't coming, and I was like, yes, yeah, she is. Oh, she gonna go. If she says she gonna go, she gonna go. Definitely. But, but baby, she, gonna she be went. Late. She gonna be late. She gonna be late. And I, I don't know if y'all saw that documentary when she did, and she said that she was late to, like, the studio. Like when she would go do the studio because she'd be up doing whatever the hell she want to do. She said that she has a time management issue. That's what she said that. last night. See? So, yeah. Hey, shout out to Nicki Minaj. Uh, all these gatekeeping old ass men, sit down. Especially like Joe Button. Sit down. Girl, okay. Nicki Minaj, that man had 300,000 people on his live last night and was playing Nicki Minaj's music. And it was a lot of music I never heard. And I had to download it this uh, this morning because I was like, okay, Nikki, that them songs was hitting, and she got a new perfume that I'm about to go get honey sauce when we leave today. Absolutely. Do you know Beyonce has one too? Mm -mm. Has anybody smelled what Beyonce smell like? 
because um, I'm eager to see it. I can't wait to get you this Pink Friday because he said that shit smell good as hell. Uh-huh. So, yeah, we definitely going to do that. But, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let us know what y'all Absolutely. think down in the comment section below. Honey Sauce wasn't here in the beginning, but like I told I y'all, she was coming in in five minutes. Absolutely. Here I am. Bye. <laughs>